<laughs> like, when was the last time that you really cried? Um, I had done some work earlier the year before, and that was when I had started really getting connected with my emotions again. But before that, it had been... Um, it had been years. Years, yeah, yeah. Maybe like 10 years or something. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't cry when my best friend passed away. Like, I had tears <laughs> in my eyes. And, but, you know, I think like a lot of us, you know, the, the previous generations were always taught to like it. Tough People it always out. say it's Latinos, but it's a generational thing. Yeah, you know, yeah. But like the generations before us were very violent. They'd gone through a lot. They were they were hardened because they had to be. You you couldn't you couldn't show that in the past. You know now. The way the world's moving, it's it's people are talking about oh people are so sensitive. I mean, you get you could say that, or you could say that they're just more connected to their feelings. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know. So the pendulum now is swinging from that masculine energy to like that feminine energy, where yeah. people are starting to connect with themselves. Yeah. Um, yeah. But from what what happened from there was incredible. What happened from there was, um, uh, she started downloading me with visions of all the people that I have. Um, pretty much um, punished in my life because nothing's ever good enough for me. Mm. Um, and so by nothing ever, nothing ever be, being ever good enough for me, um, she was downloading me the people that I'm punishing in my life because they're trying. And because um, just because they're not doing it the way I expect, it doesn't mean that they're not giving it their best. And so she started uh, downloading me with visions of um, um, uh, babies that weren't born you know, I was a part of three abortions, you mm-hmm. know, two of them I didn't have a choice in. Um, but I never, I never connected with those losses. There was mm-hmm. trauma that I never connected. But yet I lived in this guilt, in this victimhood that, um, that I didn't want to get out of that, you know, I felt sorry for myself or, um, you know, we just living in that circumstance. And she said, you weren't ready to be a dad. She was like, who would have wanted to be a dad with somebody that wasn't willing to connect and like, she said that kid would have died trying to please you and nothing would have ever been good enough. Wow. Mm. And when you start getting those kind of messages, I was like, and then and now I'm crying more. Right. And so, um, from there it, it, it took me down to, um, there was a, a vision of, um, it's, it's really hard. The visions that you have and you download, she showed me this image and you know, when they, you know, they tell you like, Hey, what do you see in this image? Well, she, she was painting this image and in this image, I see my grandpa pulling my mom out of her house uh, when she was a little kid into the back of the house. And this is in the 50s, right? In this, or in the 60s. And then tying her to a tree by the chest, beating her, and then leaving her overnight. Oh, my gosh. And, wow. and now he's teaching me, I mean, now she, the medicine is teaching me that um, why I'm scared of the dark. Yeah. Where this comes from, mm-hmm. where the fear comes from. 